Hey YouTube, what's up? Ryan here from Terra Tech Entertainment here to show you how to set up a TechIt server for the Mac. So right now, the current version of TechIt is 3.1.2, but this should work for any higher versions, and if it does not, I will make a new video and post a link down below. So, first off, what you want to do is go ahead and download the TechIt server, which you can find right here at technicpack.net slash TechIt, there will be a link below as well and you want to download that and put it in its own folder or wherever you want your server to be I put it in somewhere called TechEd server and then you just want to double click on that and you'll get a folder so now you'll basically just be working in this folder so you want to open that up and now what you're going to want to do is open up a text edit new document so you want to open up a new one and you want to put this in there. I will have this down below in the description. And what you're going to want to do is change these numbers right here to the amount of RAM you want your server to be running on. So right here I have all these different numbers and their corresponding RAM to the side all the way from half a gigabyte to six gigabytes. The more RAM you have running on your server the better your server will run. But you're also going to want to make sure your computer has enough RAM to run the server at that, which you generally want to use half of the RAM of your computer. So I've got 12 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm going to be using the 6 right here, which is 6144. So right here, you just want to replace these numbers with whatever you want. And let me just get this real quick. Ah, it's just not working. Okay, 6144. And also make sure you delete anything past the dot jar. So make sure nothing is down here. And then what you want to do is replace craft bucket right here with tech it. Make sure the T is capitalized or this will not work. And now what you want to do is go format, make plain text, and then hit OK. And everything kind of changes right here. Then what you're going to want to do is go file, save, and you're going to want to save it into your server folder, which I already have selected right here. And you're going to want to call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it techit. And then you want to add dot command. Now hit save and there you go and now what you're gonna want to do is open up the terminal so that is this right here you can find that in the spotlight search if you just search terminal every Mac has it and then you want to type in chmod space a plus x space and then drag in your techit.command and hit enter so it didn't look like it did anything but it just gave your techit.command file permissions on your computer. So now to open up your server, just double click techit.command, hit open, and as you can see right here, it is loading up the server. So the first load is always a little buggy, so then you're just gonna want to hit stop, and it'll stop. And now what you want to do is go into mods you can do this before or after you start up the server but it doesn't really matter and delete nether ores right here because it has a bug and does not allow your server to run properly as you can see right there below it came up with a bunch of errors so just trash that I've got a few because I've made a couple of servers and now what you want to do is just go ahead and run the command file again and you should not have any issues starting up your server so as you can see preparing spawn area and once that's done you can go ahead and jump in your server so to find out your IP address for your computer you're gonna want to go to canyouseeme.org and then you give that IP address to your friends who you want and trust with your IP address and they're gonna put that in their Minecraft or their TechIt to run on or to play on your server 
And then what you also want to do is forward your port to 5565, because that is the default port. And what you can do to forward it, you just type in your router's IP address, type in the username and password, and then go down to port forwarding, type in your computer's local IP address, and then forward your port on your computer's IP address, which that did sound a little bit confusing if you are not very technically savvy, I guess. But I'm sure there's tutorials elsewhere because every router is different and I don't want to give away any of my personal information by showing you that myself. So once you forward your port to 5565 on canyouseeme.org, there will be a port thing which you type in your port 25565 and make sure your server is up and running at that time. Put it in, hit enter. If it says success, can see this port on this IP address, that means your friends will be able to join. So you might need to look up extra tutorials to for port forwarding, but once you figure that out, all you gotta do is go into your TechIt. So let me just open that up right here. And all right, tech it and just log in. All right, so once you get to the home page, you just want to go into multiplayer and hit add a server. You can name it whatever you want, and then your server address. If you are hosting it on your personal computer and playing on the same computer your server is being used on, you can just type in localhost and your friends are going to want to type in your global IP address and then put in colon 25565 which that will allow them to enter your server. So do not give your IP address out to anyone that you do not want accessing your computer and yeah you can find your IP address on the canyouseeme.org give that to your friends to join and you can just type in localhost, hit done, and as you can see, it is up and running. Hit join server. And just about in. Log in. And as you can see, I am running on my TechIt server. So, yeah. So. That is how you open up a TechIt server. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I will be sure to try and help you out the best I can. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if this helped you. If you have any problems or anything, let me know down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And be sure to subscribe and check out our other stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.